What's up, a cinema shogun here, and ever since I started covering this, I don't even know what to call it. Let's just call it the Britney Spears situation. I've made it clear that in my coverage of Britney Spears, I'm more so concerned about the situation from a social standpoint, meaning that I'm more so concerned about Britney personally and about her mental health. So in my coverage of Britney Spears, that's what my videos will be focused on and not so much the legal battles that are going on between her and her family. Now, I get requests every single day asking me, hey, did you see what happened in court today? Did you hear about what's supposed to happen in court tomorrow? Will you cover this that happened in court? Will you cover that that happened in court? And I've made it clear from the beginning. I don't want to have to reiterate myself in every video, but if you go back to the beginnings of my Britney Spears coverage, I made it clear that I never want to dive into all of that legal stuff because, for one, I'm not a lawyer. I'm no expert. And for two, the main reason, because I feel like it's all theater. It's all theater. Why do I say that? Well, when it comes to a lot of these high profile cases in Hollywood, these big lawsuits, they drag out for years and years on end because the lawyers involved and the legal system, they just suck everyone dry. Like the longer it goes on, the more lucrative it becomes for them. So lawyers will beat around the bush, they'll run around like chickens with their head cut off, and there'll be all of this back and forth. In the meantime, lawyers on both sides are just draining their clients for every dollar they have. They're draining these big insurance companies of all this money. That's what a lot of this is about. I know that some people live in this fairy tale world and they think that Rosengard and all of Britney's legal team, they're here because they really care about Britney and they want to see her free. The reality is they want money. I wish that we lived in a better world where people really wanted to do the right thing, but I, I'm not convinced. And from the get-go, even when I looked into the Britney Spears situation from a legal standpoint for a minute, none of it made sense to me because for one, I feel like there's a couple of people or even groups that should have maybe have been sued by now. Like I felt like Britney would be pursuing some lawsuits against various people, but she's not. Even though it sounds like that's something she would want to do. But yeah, I've just made it clear for months now that I just feel like it's all theater. And it's just like with politics. A lot of this politics that we as Americans, we get wrapped up in, these little battles that go on between politicians, it's political theater. These people don't really care about the general public. They'll sit here and act like they're fighting in Congress and they're doing all this, and then they'll go down. They'll go out and eat a steak dinner together and laugh about how they have us divided. And when it comes to these lawsuits from these celebrities and stuff, like I said, this stuff drags out for years and years on end. And at the end of the day, nothing ever really comes of, out of it other than people but on both sides just get their pockets drained. And Rosengard has just been sitting here draining Britney's pockets. I don't see anyone behind bars. I don't see anyone getting sued. It, it, none of it makes sense. But now the news is dropping that Team Britney, Britney and her lawyers are pursuing a settlement in the case against her father and TriStar. It, it, it's not making sense to me because this totally goes against everything that Britney's been saying. Now, let me make myself clear here. I know a lot of YouTubers won't do this. But like I said earlier, I'm not a lawyer. I am no expert, okay? 
I know oftentimes YouTubers try to play it off like they are some super knowledgeable experts about every topic they talk about and that somehow they always know more than the viewer and I'm here to educate you all. But listen, a lot of you all watching this video, you big Britney fans and people within the Free Britney movement, you know more about this situation than I do from a legal standpoint. You've been following this way closer than I have. So you could let me know down in the comments below if you think I'm off base here, but this doesn't, before I even read the article, this doesn't sit right with me. This seems to like, like it goes against everything that we've been getting. I thought Brittany, Brittany's out here saying that she hopes her family goes to jail and burns in hell and all of this stuff. Yet in the tabloids, they're talking about settlements. Does that not con like conflict with each other there? Like there's a con like a conflict of interest. Like Brittany wants one thing, but Brittany's legal team is pursuing, you know, a different avenue. It, it doesn't add up. It doesn't add up at all. But here's what's being said. Settlement talks are underway. Brittany, Jamie, and TriStar are all open to ending the financial dispute. Now, notice they say Brittany. But from everything Brittany's been saying, that's not true at all. Now, I heard the rumblings about this news for a couple of days now. I tried to be careful, and I didn't want to report on it too quick because... During lawsuits, during cases, there's always going to be talks about settling. That's not something crazy. I do know that much. You know, people settle lawsuits all the time. Even when you know you got someone dead to rights guilty, it's like, hey, sometimes you don't want to put yourself through that. And if Brittany really wants to pursue this legal battle, it's going to be very strenuous. It's going to be very... It's going to have a, a dramatic effect on her life and her emotions and her mental because it's going to drag on out for years. And it's like when you're trying to move on from something, having a lawsuit against the something that you're trying to move on from at the same time, it makes it incredibly hard to move on. And I feel like Brittany moving on from the situation would help her more than however much money she may get out of this case. That's my opinion. But right here, it says that lawyers for Britney Spears and Jamie Spears are in talks to end their legal battle. Britney's attorney, Matthew Rosengart, has reached out to both Jamie's lawyer and lawyers for TriStar Sports and Entertainment Group to settle up. Now that is, this is where I really start raising my eyebrows here. We don't, let, just let me say this. We don't know if this is how everything played out for sure. This is how it's being reported. And if this is true, then the fact that Britney's lawyer is the one pursuing this, it's one thing if Jamie and TriStar come together with some plan and Hey, can we settle out of court? We'll give you this much money. It's one thing if they come with that type of deal to throw at Rosengart and he thinks about it, ponders over it. But from the way it's being reported, this is Rosengart that's out here putting the feelers out for a settlement. And if that is the case, then you can't. I mean, like I said, I don't know everything and I don't know as much as a lot of people, but you can't sit here and tell me that that doesn't conflict 100% with what Britney says on Instagram all the time. Now, there's this big disconnect within the Britney community and Britney's fan base. A portion of her fan base, they think she's free and she's living her best life. They love the nude photos, the twirling around. They love all of it. And then you got a portion of her fan base that is just concerned for her mental health. I feel like I'm right there in the middle at this point. That I'm just concerned for her 
and I want her to do better and I want better for her. And then we have a portion of the fan base that thinks there's something sinister and weird still going on behind the scenes. And honestly, let's be honest here, this bit of news, if I'm right here in the middle, let's say, like, like think of like a Libra scale. You're right here in the middle. This piece of news makes you lean more towards, hey, there must be something weird going on as opposed to, oh, Brittany's totally free. I am at a weird place with this whole story and whole situation surrounding Brittany right now because she's done some things lately that's just made me dislike the woman. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. Regardless of how much control Brittany may have over her social media accounts and things like that, there's still always going to be a portion of her life that's always going to be controlled by someone else in a way. As long as she's still part of the industry anyway. And I honestly, I don't think for people like Brittany, there's ever an out of the industry. Unless you're in a casket. <clears throat> but this piece of news is something that I would look at and really be like, hmm, maybe there is something going on behind the scenes. I made it clear a thousand times that when it comes to this case, as far as the legal battles go, like I said, I think it's all theater. But I also think that maybe this is an outside force coming in, taking control away from Britney's family, and then more so gaining the control themselves. I don't know, but if you look at Britney and the team that she surrounds herself with, most of these people were there during the conservatorship. You would think that there has been some big overhaul of the people who are working for Britney and with Britney, but there hasn't been at all. Basically, everyone is still there. And you would think that there would be these big changes, but there hasn't been. And then when you see Britney on her Instagram account wishing death upon her family, saying she wants them to rot in jail and all of this stuff, yet we're hearing the news that they're talking about settling out of court. And hold on, because they said something about a number. Sources say a few months ago, after the conservatorship ended, lawyers for Jamie and TriStar approached Rosengart to settle their differences, but he refused and he wanted to go full steam ahead. Now, that is really weird to me, too, because it's like, hey, they came in trying to get a settlement. So if this lawyer was under the mentality of we're going to take a settlement, then he could have taken one way back then. But he didn't because I think there was too much attention on the case. There was too much attention on the situation. So the fact that he waited eight, nine months, however many months, and now he's changing his tune, I think that's very telling as well because it's like, okay, when the public pressure is on and all eyes on you, you act one way. But when the world moves on to the next news story, you start changing up. But they're saying that he was, that Rosengard had a change of heart and he's offered to end the legal battle for around $7 million. Now we know that Brittany could get like up to over $40 million. So $7 million seems like a really light settlement. But once again, this is being reported by various different news outlets, but we don't have this in writing. We don't know if this is 100% true. That $7 million is a really interesting number to me because why and what made you think that, hey, $7 million is the number we're going for? Especially when it's dramatically lower than what I think Britney is entitled to. You know, I know a lot of people think I hate Britney and I'm Britney's biggest villain. I'm really just more concerned about Britney than most of you all are, which is why I will call out her issues with mental health instead of patting her on the back every time she acts crazy. I think Britney's entitled to more than that $7 million. But also, 
when I do take a step back and I notice that there hasn't been certain lawsuits filed and we're looking at settling this case and it makes me think like, were we led to believe that Brittany and Brittany's legal team have more on these people than what they actually do? Because surely, if Brittany's team had as much evidence and as, you know, as much evidence as they claim to have back then when when the free Britney movement was going on, Matt Rosen or Matthew Rosengar, whatever his name is, he was talking cash money shit. Like he had all of this stuff. He was going to take these people down. They're going to go to jail. They're going to have to pay up every cent that they're worth. And now it's like, oh, you could just give us $7 million and we're just fine. We won't worry about that anymore. I'll go on and act like I'm a hero somewhere else. I don't know, but I will say this. Everyone who's been saying that there's still something weird going on behind the scenes, you're looking pretty justified right now. Because this, if anything, forget all of the weird social media activities. Forget everything that we've been looking at for months. This right here is the main indicator so far that there may be something going on here. At the very least, Brittany isn't as free to make her own decisions as they say. If Brittany was free to make her decisions, then why would she be on Instagram saying that she wants her family to go to jail, she hates them, blah, 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 blah and then her lawyer's out here trying to settle. That's not adding up. But then again, Brittany lies all the time. I know that may hurt some of y'all's feelings, but I've caught her in so many lies. You know that pregnancy where she claimed to be pregnant a few months ago? Whew! Let's just say I exposed a lot about that. I don't even want to go into detail about that. You might want to go surf my channel. We got down to the bottom of that, but Brittany's not always 100% truthful. And sometimes I don't think it's necessarily like her trying to lie. It's just Britney's in her own world and she tells everything and she says everything through her Britney-like lenses. It's like weird, you know, like a child. So either Britney's talking all this trash on social media while doing the exact opposite behind the scenes, or Britney isn't as in control of this whole battle for her life as we all thought. And this brings me to a quote that I hear all the time. The first time I heard it was on Sam Raimi's Spider-Man movie. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Rosengart was a hero. Project Rose. To this day, Britney Spears fan accounts keep a rose in their bio or in their Twitter names. Yet now, I think people are going to start questioning this dude. I feel like we all have conflicting opinions about Britney's antics. A lot of people will turn a blind eye to, towards it because it's controversial to call it out. You lose subs, you lose friends, you lose whatever because people can't handle opinions. So people are really scared to call out her antics, even though they know that they're wrong. But I feel like this little news story is something that we should all be on the same page about. Unless you're just being blatant, just blatantly lying to everyone. We should all be able to agree that this goes against everything that we've been told, everything that Brittany has said for the last eight, nine months. Everyone ignored the fact that Britney said she never wanted to make music again. And then next thing you know, two months later, we got music. The other day, Britney said she will probably never perform again out of spite. The day when the day comes that she performs again, everyone will forget she said that. Stop being so forgetful. Don't read this news and forget that Britney Spears just last week 
just two or three days ago, literally had her butthole spread wide open on Instagram, talking crap to her dad, saying, I hope you see this, mf -er. you bastard, I hope you die and burn in hell and go to jail and blah, 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 blah. What's changed? What's changed? And from the way this is being reported, it's not like Rosengart woke up this morning and was like, hey, let's try to get a deal going. He's been shopping around, talking around about it for months. Really odd. Really odd. I'm going to have to sit down and really think about this one a little bit more. And I have been pondering over it for a couple of days now. But when you really put things into perspective and you really think about all the things Britney said, you think about the energy that was behind the Free Britney movement and how Rosengard was acting at first. And then you see what's going on now. I'm telling you, it is the exact opposite of what Rosengard was acting like. And this right here is the exact opposite of what Brittany has claimed that she wanted. But I want to know your thoughts in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all on the next video.